what? The velocity at r equal r0 is u0 er is the unit beta in r direction. Okay? And maybe I ask you, why don't you solve this mathematical problem? And you can solve it, of course. Right? And also note that because the sphere is vibrating only in radial direction, this Laplace, Laplacian is only depending on r direction, no dependence on theta and phi. Okay? So I can write the wave equation would be d square over dr square and r. And if I use velocity potential, then I can write this is Uh, sorry, or of a C square the wave equation would look like this the reason why we often use velocity potential other than pressure Anybody knows the reason why we use velocity potential other than pressure? You guys are studying fluid mechanics, right? And fluid mechanics, they use velocity potential very often. Why? Okay, that can be possible answer. Why the fluid mechanics people use velocity potential rather than pressure? Anybody knows? Why do you use pen to write something you think? Why? First reason, it, because it is convenient, right? So therefore, why you use velocity potential? The answer should be because it is convenient. Then my next question is, why it is convenient? Huh? The relation? Okay, more specifically speaking. Mm, yeah. Okay. The reason is what is this? That is velocity. Right? That is velocity. What is this? What is this? That is pressure. I suggest to you to read Appendix 2. That means nobody read Appendix. That means I have to make some problem out of appendix in uh, in the keys as well as in the uh, final examination. Okay. So velocity potential is very convenient as long as we know the velocity potential. If we if we just inch, if we just take a derivative with respect to space, then I will get the velocity. In other words. 
This means that if I take a derivative in x direction, I will get the velocity in x direction, as he mentioned. If, he, if I take the uh, derivative with respect to y, I will get the velocity in y direction. If I take a derivative in z, then I will get the velocity in z direction. If I take a derivative in r direction, then I will get the velocity in r direction. That's why it called potential. Because it has a potential to produce anything in that direction if you take a derivative. It's like, a, it's like a, he's a potential. Then if I show the derivative, then he will give me the information that I want to know. So that's why we call it potential. Huh? For example, what is the uh, potential energy that can, I mean, the, the energy that can be stored in linear spring? That is one half kx square. Why it is called k, the potential energy? Because if I take a derivative in x direction, that gave me kx. That is the force. So we could think that the all the wave field can be regarded as some distribution of potential functions. Instead of seeing the wave field as the pressure fluctuation or velocity fluctuation, we can just see that, oh, wave field is, can be regarded as distributed potential function. Okay, so why don't we get the potential function? And if you want to know the pressure at certain point, just to take a time rate, time rate of change of velocity potential, then we will get the pressure. If you want to know the velocity, we will just take derivative with respect to the space that we want to see the direction that we will get the velocity. Okay, any question? So it's amazing. And I respect the guy who invented, who found the potential function. He's a genius. I don't know who he is. But at least, at least we can enjoy the, the property of a such potential function, right? We deserve it, right? So, and the boundary condition now can be written as conveniently d v d r on r equal a, which means that this radius of this sphere is a, has to be u0 minus j omega. It's a very simple mathematical expression. Then our job is to solve this equation. Get the solution that satisfies this boundary condition. And what is the solution of that equation, that governing equation? Okay. Intuitively, we know that this velocity potential that is a function of R and T is R is not necessarily to be a vector because there is only one dependence in r direction. So we just use scalar r. OK, that's OK. That has to be r phi has to be same as a exponential minus j omega t minus k r. 